Robert in Midvale, Utah. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive extra active gray lenses with the cold flash mirror for your Ray Ban 2140, the original Wayfair color 901, and the 50 eye size. Let me pop everything out of the case as it comes to me. Your Italian leather hard shell case, or a soft flip over I should say. Your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth. The book with the icons, you gotta be in here somewhere. The Aviator, the Shooter, the Outdoorsman, Caravan, Olympian, Clubmaster. Come on, did I pass it? Did I pass it? I know we gotta have something in here. There we go, the Wayfair, the face of culture. Saw a new expression in rock and roll, built as strong and sturdy as the personalities who wore them. The Wayfair revolutionized the way we saw the world and the way the world saw us. Built as strong and sturdy as the personalities who wore them. Good point, I'm gonna bring that up a little bit later. So, and of course the star of the show, the main attraction, comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together while it's being shipped to me from Italy. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. And of course, this is the RB2140, color 901, which is the classic shiny black 50 eye size 22 bridge 150 temple length. Now, this is sunglasses. I'm going to take out the original glass lenses that are the G15. Let me go ahead and take that off. And of course, you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging. This is the time-consuming portion of it. But we're going to get it right. Don't you worry. These things don't come out easy. In fact, they even use a cleaning cloth to get them out so I don't burn my fingers. Those are the heavy glass lenses that have been removed. Let me go ahead and always like to clean the inside of the frame before I trace it because they use some adhesive glue to put that in there. I just want to make sure to get all of that out before I trace the frame. Plus with those lenses, I don't want any glue to be seen since they're clear. You can't see the glue when it's the sunglass lenses. Let me put the sticker back on there to keep with the uniformity of it. How do I know they're glass? Listen to that sound. Not to mention the weight of these things. So I'm going to take your frame, put it into the tracing element of my blocker. And first, I want to give a shout out to Robert, who will be the future vice president of Southwest Sales in, of the sales division of the of, in Southwest America. This is his fourth pair in about five, five and a half weeks. He's even getting his wife to buy some for some of his co-workers. I joke with him, can't thank him enough. He is now model, I mean, the Secret Agent 2700. Getting up there to a two new round number. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button. A little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame that I offer, and you will receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now you get the full reimbursement from the health savings account flex dollars. You'll get your out of network reimbursement from your insurance company because I don't take any insurances. <coughs> Excuse me, I just keep talking to him. My throat gets dry. So I'm going to move on to the next screen. I need to enter the pupillary distance, which is 33.5 for each eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the plus button twice till we get up to 33. I want to raise the optical center height up to 24. I even pre-programmed that and wrote 24 down because I know from experience what it takes to cut for this frame. So I need to go ahead and get your lenses ready. This one is marked the right lens. It reads minus one, minus a quarter at 120, minus one, minus a quarter at 120. And these are the extra active gray lenses with the gold flash mirror. So not only will they, they'll turn gray when he looks out, when everyone looks at him, they'll see the gold mirror on there. I need two blocks. I need two stickers. 
and put this one on the first one do the same thing now for the second one pull the paper away to make the black side sticky that silver button on the back is a magnet it's going to do its job twice the first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet in the arm and Robert I do apologize some of this will be repetition I made videos for him before but there are some people out there who may be seeing this for the first time and I want to explain everything as I go along to them so got everything laid out there right hit that button the arm's going to come down place the block onto the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the left lens and actually one nice thing about zeiss they document everything that you're getting that's one i mean there's many reasons why i'm switching everyone over to zeiss but it tells me this is the right lens it gives you the prescription on there same thing for the left the power is on there and you get an 8 by 11 piece of paper that even documents even more. So the next time you go to a doctor and they ask you what you're wearing, hand them this piece of paper. Tell them I'm wearing the Zeiss Progressive Light D. Here's my prescription for the right eye, my progressive bifocal strength, prescription for the left, progressive strength, my PD, the seg height, which sometimes I change, but with this frame I knew it was going to be 24. The base curve of the lens. And because all digital freeform progressives have a compensated formula, that is on there for the distance as well as the near. You have the laser engravings. Now with these, in case you guys missed any of that, let me recap. But the laser engravings are in a lens. Every progressive has laser engravings in there. On the temporal side and the nasal side, it gives you a layout chart that tells you where everything is laid out. And anyone who looks at your lens in a doctor's office will be able to look that up and it gives you the engravings. It even gives you the layout chart here for them to do that with your glasses there. That's what I love about Zeiss. Apart from that, they've been the leader in precision optics since 1846. They invented the photochromic lens. They invented anti-glare. They document everything. And when you're buying glasses on, online, how do you know they're really being made the way they're supposed to be? And for me, as a licensed optician who went to college to learn how to do this, passed the state board exam, I have 21 years experience in the field. I've personally cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses for everyone. So that's how I will guarantee that the prescription is cut perfectly, exactly the way this should be. Of course, with this being Robert's pair, he's already figured that out, that I'm going to do my best work for him. And then while these are cutting, I'm going to show you my best work going forward. So this machine this is the blocker it traces the frame and puts the blocks on the lenses this is the edger combined they cost forty thousand dollars this weighs 200 pounds i recommend everyone put it on your kitchen counter then you can cut your own lenses at home and you will need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material till it's the final size this wheel in the center is going to put the v-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame i'm going to wake up the computer oh i've already done that job id number 2700 these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex i would select that i'm not going to polish the edge because it's not going to be seen but i am going to put a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens press the sticker on there firmly now the magnet's going to do its job a second time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck or by now you know i like to call it the charles because i just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck hit the green start button the door closes the clamp shuts the lens is going to be traced by two wide styluses making sure that the lens is large enough to go into the frame first time round. and you can see it's just tracing the shape of the right lens and then the old carpenter saying measure twice cut once it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which you will have none in this frame now your lenses are made out of polycarbonate polycarb ornate is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic these are virtually unbreakable unlike your heavy glass lenses if you drop it they will shatter on the ground just like a glass bottle will. These have 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. 
unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to re be reapplied every couple hours. When you're in direct exposure to the sun, they're in Midvale, Utah. This is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. And as an added layer of protection, Zeiss offers the most complete UV protection going all the way up to 400 nanometers of protection. All the other lens companies stop at 380 nanometers. Zeiss goes to 400. Zeiss goes to 11. And uh, that's why they've partnered with the American Cancer Society. It's the only company that has done that because of their protection towards skin cancer and other things. And including cancer of the eye. Now you have the Photofusion Extra Gray. That by itself has 50 to 70% blue light protection that you hear people speak about from emitted from today's electronic devices such as cell phones, tablets, computer screens, and of course the sun. You have the gold mirror on the front of the lens. You have an, the DuraVision Sun anti-glare coating on the back of the lens. Heck of a scratch coating all the way around. You have the complete protection from everything in these lenses. The extra active with either the silver, gold, green, or blue. He's gotten a couple pair of the blue mirrors. This is his first pair of the gold. And we'll get to that gold mirror in a second. I'm going to talk about these frames. I designed these. So after 21 years in the field, I realize I'm just a cover band. I'm putting lenses and other people's songs. I will never be a rock star optician until I write my own songs. I have started writing my songs. I know from experience I'm going to have to size this down several times until it fits in there perfectly. I will be shocked if this lens fits in there first time around. I'm lucky, but I'm not that lucky. I'm good, but I'm not that good. My wife says, what, what makes you think you're good? <laughs> I asked my wife, I said, honey, in your wildest dreams, did you ever think I would start designing my own eyewear? She looked me in the eye and said, honey, what makes you think you're in my wildest dreams? <laughs> Oh, it's going to be like that, is it? Okay, okay, I'm ready for you. Man, she had that locked and loaded, just ready to use. All right, so I'm going to take the lens, tuck it in at the outside corner. Tuck it in at the, it's not even close to wanting to go in. I'm going to take it down a quarter of a millimeter for starters because I know that this has one of the deepest bevel of any frames. I may have to take it down to 50 or 75, but we're going to start with a quarter, put it back in, hit retouch, and that buys me the time to talk about the songs that I am writing. So this is the original Wayfair, model number 2140. It was originally designed in 1952. It has the panoscopic tilt, meaning that it comes away from the eyebrows. This Most eyeglasses are straighter in. In fact, this is the... 1952 model 2140 and 1992 they came out with the 2132 the new Wayfair. these have that tilt it goes away from the eyebrow in towards the cheek they straightened it out so it was more perpendicular and 2140 original 2132 new Wayfair that i'm wearing in color 6053 blue crystal because i wear a lot of blue and the crystal goes with the white plus that crystal goes with uh those wisdom highlights I got coming in over my temples but uh, so my 2132 has a single barrel hinge the 2140 has a seven barrel hinge like they said it is built as sturdy as the people who wear them so for my frame this is no different I had them I was very influenced by this frame. I wanted them to make it just like it. But of course, don't put Ray-Ban on the side because if you do, it's counterfeit. But I put a cross on there. This is Christian eyewear designed in the United States. You can get it with a silver cross or a gold cross. Now, these are the samples they sent me. They played around with white and I said, I don't like that. So, stick with the silver and gold so it is matching. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. I got two pairs of glasses out. Then, uh, yeah, I can see through these. These are mine. all right let's see if it'll fit again or if i need to take it down some more yeah nope it don't want to fit let's take it down some mo i'm gonna make that mo better take it down to 50 retouch 
So that's what I did. I've got the new Wayfair that I like. He likes these. That's fine. But I put the seven barrel hinge on here. This is the sample Christian eyewear. It's going to say designed in USA. Now this model number is the John 316 color black 5218. And the one thing this will do, now this company puts sunglass lenses in there for now. I'm going to have them make them larger. This is going to be the 55. So the John 316 will be sunglasses that come in. I can put clear lenses in there, but just like these were sunglasses. I'm going to take the glass, the sunglass lens out, put in prescription. But I have a second model coming in even sooner. It's going to be the Philippians 314, excuse me, 413. I can do all things through Christ. They'll come in a black, a tortoise, and a purple, majestic purple, because the Roman soldiers put a purple robe on Jesus that was carrying the cross through the streets of Jerusalem. Now the John 316 will come in wood. It won't have the scratch surface. The manufacturer thought I would like that, but I like the inside color of both of these. And I said, you know what? The Roman soldiers did not go to Home Depot and Lowe's to buy the lumber to build and cross. They used the actual lumber itself, the tree. So I'm going to have that color, just like what's going around all of this. I'm going to have that on the whole thing. None of this scratch surface. They said it's very popular. And I said, okay, that's fine. If you want to pay for these, you can put the scratch surface. If I'm paying for these, I want the wood on the outside. So that's how, that's why they sent me samples. Again, these are going to be the 55 eye size. The 52s that you see here will come with a polarized clip-on that literally will snap onto the front. Not just one, but you will have the option of being able to buy two. Because who has one car anymore? I have to have two pair of sunglasses. One I keep in my car. One I keep in my well, I was to say, keep in my wife's car. So now with these, the Philippians 413, I can do all things through Christ. I call it that because you can do all things with the clip-on. And because that's the one thing about regular transitions, they don't turn dark in a car. So think of this as your seatbelt. When you get in the car, put on your seatbelt, put on the clip. When you go to get out of the car, take off your seatbelt, take off the clip and leave it in the car. Leave it in your spouse's car, leave it in your work truck. Robert works outside. I'm sure he has a work truck. Leave one of the clips in there. Now again, he's not a 2132 fan. I understand that. So it's taken my life savings to produce this. You got to take every step. Every journey begins with one step. And as I like to say, it's a quote from Martin Luther King. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just have faith and take the first step. So that's what I did with these. As soon as I get them in, I'm going to get these made in more colors, including the wood. I'm going to get one made crystal color, and I'm thinking about a red, a blood red, with either the silver, all the frames will come with either a silver or gold cross in both locations, but I'm going to come out with more, and then I'm doing this frame, so Robert, if he wants, can get this, and it will come with a polarized magnetic clip-on that's going to fit this frame. Now, in order for the clip-on to work, you have to have a magnet on the frame itself and a corresponding magnet on the clip-on. So these won't fit. It's only going to be married to this frame. The magnets are embedded in the frame. You don't see them from the front, so it just clips right on. So I'll have these hopefully by the end of 2020. And I'll come up with a model number for this. All of them will be a Bible passage. In fact, I just learned today, Isaiah 60, 22. Oh, I wrote it down. Come on, someone Google it. Leave it in the, I'll leave it in the comment section. But essentially, all things in time, I, the Lord, will take you when, it, when the time is right. And so, but anyone else out there in the comment section, tell me what your favorite Bible passage is. Because as I design more and more frames, they're all going to be named after a Bible passage. So tell me one that you like. Some people like the Psalms. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear not. But yeah, I'm going to start doing that. So all my Christian eyewear and all of them will have a magnetic polarized clip on. With the option of getting more than one. Man, these things are never easy. When I design mine, it's going to be easier. Come on, I know you want to do it. I know you want to do it. There we go. 
Now we cooking with gas. Flip that in there. Or should I say Yahtzee? <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Ah, uh, quit hang on my phone. Spam alert. Put that in the now the magnet's gonna go in there again into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Robert, the Robert number four pair of glasses. Flip that over to L, hit start. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by the two white styluses. Measuring out the shape of the left lens. And measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that, Robert. You got no edge thickness. None. With your prescription in this frame, pull the block off. Pull the sticker away, add to my sticker collection, come down here to my Marco 101 lensometer, spin the axis wheel to 120. This is known as final inspection. I'm going to put it in over that black dot. That's the where, position of wear for the frame. Read the power and I am getting minus one. He has one diopter of far-sided correction. He is myopic. Compound myopic. Simple myopic in his left eye. Compound because he has the smallest amount of astigmatism correction possible in the right eye. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike with the letters P and F. It is the fine-tuned knob. But with his glasses off, see so here's unique. He's minus one in each eye, one and a quarter add. That's the bifocal strength. Even though these are the invisible bifocals, so his eyes naturally have one diopter of plus power built in. So we neutralize that so he can see far away. When he takes his glasses off, he can actually read right here great, but he has to start playing trombone to see where to see clearly, and that's going to change. Eventually, he can't going to push things far enough away, and he's going to have to wear them all the time. But, so let's check this, the quarter adopter of astigmatism correction. That's where at minus one and a quarter. Now these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from zero to 180. Think of it as the fine two knob. We're gonna turn that fine two knob to zero to 90 to 180. We're gonna go past the 90 to the 120. Now, this frame, the Ray-Ban 2140, the original Wayfarer, which will be available always on here but i'm going to start adding stuff to my christian eyewear too same prices you're always going to get free prescription lenses with the purchase of any frame this frame is 150. this frame will be 150 with the polarized clip on even the original wayfarer will be 150 with the clip on so the Zeiss Digital Light D, D stands for Digital Freeform Progressive Lens, is $129.99. The Photo Fusion Extra Gray is $129.99, and any of the four color mirrored lenses is $69.99 for a total of $499.97 with the invisible bifocal, the extra active, the gold flash mirror in the classic Ray-Ban frame, just shy of $500 complete, and it's all tax free because a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax now. I am in North Carolina. I do not have to charge tax in North Carolina because my state considers eyeglasses a medical device and that's the one thing that is tax exempt. So I will always be tax free until they change the laws. So check the power on this one. Almost here we turn it back to one and that's where at minus one. So again, this is known as final inspection. I'm guaranteeing that the glasses are made to the prescription that the doctor wrote. As long as the doctor did a good job on the prescription, these will fit every time. Optical center height of 24, PD of 33.5 for both eyes, which is a total of 67. Place the card, where's my PD stick? There it is in my pocket. Place that on the right lens. When we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 67 millimeters. The optical set, just like the crosshairs of a scope, you measure vertically and horizontally. That was the horizontal measurement. Now we're going to do the vertical. And to the middle of the plastic of the frame, we're getting 24 millimeters. 
so that is cut perfectly now this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the US and Midvale Utah is still in the US but when you get these in the mail there is a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight however there is an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get these in standard alignment first. Also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now when I say wobble, when I take off my Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfair, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Let me show you all something too. I'm going to pop my lens out of my Ray-Bans. Grab my Christian eyewear. And come on, don't fight me. Don't squirm. And they pop right in. I was embarrassed to hold it down because... Here's some TI. I eat a... Uh, TMI. I eat a... Uh, Clean that off there. I eat an avocado every day for lunch. I was eating some today and I dropped it on my shirt. Look at that. No, I couldn't drop it on the floor. I had to drop it right on my shirt and then go to swipe it. And I smeared it right into my shirt. My wife's going to kill me. Come on, honey, please. I have not done laundry since I've been married. I wouldn't even... Not that I couldn't. Not that I'm not willing to. My washing machine used to be so primitive. My dryer had a timer and a start button. Now my dryer looks like it was designed by NASA. There's three rows of lights and buttons. I don't even know what to begin to press on there. But I'm going to flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. I'm going to have to get my wife to teach me how to do laundry. But um, that neither temple is askew. So I send out a selfie report. Pack, selfie request in every package. I'd love to have two of them. One with these clear indoors, one with them outside with a gold mirror showing. I also send out a selfie, I mean, uh, um, instructions not only on how to care for your frame and lenses, but for your premium microfiber cloth that I provide, your Zeiss cleaning cloth, and your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, and instructions on how to care for your case so it too will last you for years. I field test every cleaning cloth to make sure that it works. So when you get these in the mail and you see a wrinkle in this one, you know it works. Robert, don't try and tell me you can't clean your lenses because I just showed you how to do it. So, but what I was going to say, if you ever take uh, selfies, occasionally hashtag me at free prescription lenses on Instagram or as free RX lenses on Twitter. So this is what your lenses look like the first time before they have been activated. Now I have the Crizal Sapphire on my lenses. You can see that blue hue to it. This looks like a gold anti-glare coating on steroids. This is a flashy look. Now, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, or a minister, you may not want something this bold if you're meeting with clients or, or members of your congregation. But, sometimes you just got to be over the top. Now, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. I'm exposing these to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to turn dark. When you go outside, it takes a little bit longer when you come in, a, a minute to a minute 15. Now, this is important. Everyone pay attention. All photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to lighten, excuse me, continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks till they get to their final setting. The only time they will not, oh man, that is tough. That is tough. The only time they will not turn dark is if you're behind the windshield of a car. That's the photochromic transition 7 and 8. Now, having said that, these are the extra active. These will turn 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Now, when you look out, you will see the extra gray. And now you can see the DuraVision Sun anti-glare coating on the back of them. You can, they looked gold before they were activated. This is tough. When you activate them, now you can see that greenish hue of the anti-glare coating on the back surface. Now the reason why they don't turn dark in a car is your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. That's why they don't get it. Now again, these will get 30 to 50 percent in a car. Now the other thing about all photochromic transition lenses, no matter how old or how new, they're temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. 
but I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Having said that, these extra active lenses are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside, so they will get darker in hotter weather. Now again, you can see I gave them two really strong bursts of UV light to get them going. They're going to take a little bit longer. Now this is stronger than just going outside because it's this far away from a very intense UV light. The sun is, what, 89 million miles away, so they'll turn back quicker. I just gave them a really, really strong burst. But as you can see, they're getting lighter and lighter and they're getting back to where you rarely see the, you can't see the full effect of the gold mirror except at certain angles. But again, these have 50 to 70% blue light protection, anti-glare coating on the back surface. You, here's another thing. When you pay $69.99 for one of the four colors of the mirror lenses, which are only available on the extra active, but you get an anti-glare coating on the back surface. They can only put a mirror on the front. The normal anti-glare is $69, and they do that on the, that's DuraVision Chrome and they put that on the front and back surface. They cannot put an anti-glare coating on the mirror because it is slick as glass, so they only put it on the back surface. And that's included with the $69 price tag. The extra active are $129.99. Of course, the progressive, anyone who gets single vision lenses, there's no charge for single vision lenses. Robert's at that age, he gets tired of taking the glasses on and off to see. He can see up close great, but it requires him taking off his glasses. So that's why he got the Zeiss Digital Light D Freeform Progressive Lens. And that was the, uh, the fee. So anyone over 40 or 45 will have to start getting the invisible bifocal. Anyone 40 and below can get by with single visions and there's no charge for those lenses. Only for the extra active or the mirror or the anti-glare. Or I can actually make polarized sunglasses with a mirror coating um, and light silver, a high luster silver, a light gold, a high luster gold, a light blue, a high luster blue, green, and red. Oh, 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 oh. Come the summer of 2020, they will have the red flash mirror. That is coming. That is coming. I just found out yesterday from my Zeiss rep, who is one of my college classmates. He's working for Zeiss now. He's been you know, get, pulling my leg for years to get me to carry them. And I was like, I don't know, I'm an Essilor guy. Use Essilor lab equipment, Essilor lenses. But he told me that Zeiss has the transitions blue. And I was like, oh, snap. Essilor wasn't going to have them until April of 2020. So I got these last year. I love my blue lenses. So, which are not in here. This is still the gray from Essilor. These are the Essilor lenses because I've, I've had these for a couple of years now. My prescription hasn't changed. I can still wear them. I've ordered some new Zeiss lenses. I'm a cut for these bad boys when they come in. Again, nothing wrong with being a cover band, but if I'm ever going to be a rock star, i got to write my own songs. So, the new Wayfarer, or I should have said the new Wayfinder, and the original Wayfinder, Wayfarer. I, I stole that term from Star Wars also. But, um... I will be making this frame in the Christian eyewear that's going to have a silver or a gold cross here and here. And of course a Bible passage on the inside. They will all have that seven barrel hinge on every frame. They will all have the polarized clip on on every frame. So, where was I at? Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Click the bell icon so you can get future notifications of frame and lens combinations as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions, go to the Contact Me page of the website. Just holler at me. I'll be able to answer your questions. If there's a frame you want that I don't have listed on my website, you can leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But Robert in Midvale, Utah, thank you so much for your fourth purchase and five to five and a half weeks. He's a Ray-Ban man. He's gotten them all except for one other brand. One of my first designs that he went with. But um, yeah, thank you so much for the purchase of the Ray-Ban 2140 Original Wayfarer with the Zeiss Progressive Digital Freeform Progressive Lens with the Photo Fusion Extra Gray in the Gold Flash Mirror. And hopefully now everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.